Life is beautiful. That's what I have to say. Life is beautiful. Hello beautiful people, we have made it to Montenegro. We have made it to this beautiful resort. I think by the time I post this, I would be gone. So I can say it right now, it's the one and only resort in Porto Novi. This was the whole reason, honestly, I came. Sometimes I travel to countries because I wanna to go to countries. And in this case, it was, I just wanna stay at this hotel um, and the one and only hotel resort uh resort is like a hotel group they have locations across the world but their locations are like in off more off the beaten path or like often overlooked not all of them because they have like for example i'm pretty sure they have a location in dubai and cape town and i think those are popular tourist destinations but like they also have um, locations in Rwanda and Montenegro and the first US location that they're opening is in Montana so I think those are not like like you wouldn't nest and the Montenegro location is their first Europe location so it's like places where you wouldn't think to um, wouldn't really peg as popular tourist destinations is where they um, have put their hotels so I think in that way it's really smart because it's like make the hotel really really good like it's a it's a very good tourism tactic because like the hotel itself becomes the tourist point obviously you need to have the infrastructure or like the country should have like things to do and the infrastructure for that but i mean the hotel was enough for me to come here and then like you know i'll experience bits and pieces of montenegro as i can um Unfortunately, the weather is colder than what I was hoping for. And like, honestly, I think most I was hoping for was like 70 degrees as the high. But before I got here, it was like 75, 78 pretty consistently for all of April. And then just this week, it like dropped to like what it is now, which is supposedly typical for this time of year. So like 60 degrees as the high, but I don't know, I was hoping I would get lucky with something a little bit better, especially considering like, it's fairly south. Like, it's not like where Portugal is, but it's fairly south, you know? But you could probably tell from the look on my face right now or from the look of my eyes, I'm incredibly tired. I'm really jet lagged. Um, I have a dinner reservation in a couple of moments or minutes not a couple like probably like 15 minutes what time is it it is 6 38 and my dinner reservation is at seven i don't even think it's that big a deal what i love about coming here off peak season is that it's also very quiet like i just feel like that's that also makes solo travel easy easier too like excuse me, no one's even here looking at you. Like, why are you self-conscious? There's like nobody here. There are obviously people here, but like, I feel like this is the type of place that people really, really enjoy in the summer. But in the summer, it's $1,700 a night to stay here. So uh, I will. I would gladly come back with a man um, who can foot that bill. I was gonna say who who can split it, we can split it, but actually I'd rather not, like I'd rather not split. Like he should just, he should just do that. But at any rate, oh, on top of that, um, I checked two bags. I had a carry-on and two checked bags, which is kind of a lot. Initially I wanted just one checked bag and one carry-on, but 
um, because of the weather, I realized I had to pack more like warm I had to pack warmer clothes and warmer clothes tend to be bulky. So like I had a, I was like, all right, now I need to bring multiple jackets. I need to bring some sweaters. Like I need to bring warm clothes. Um, and I did, so that's the reason I had two check bags. One of my check bags didn't make it from my layover in Amsterdam. And that bag was the bag that had like all of my warm weather clothing thankfully i have my gym clothes so i can still work out i can't wait to show you guys the gym i have my gym clothes so i can still work out i have some clothes at least to like get me through the first couple of days um and like obviously i could rewear clothes if it really got, came down to it but the outfit that i wanted to wear tomorrow i don't have which is kind of annoying but i do have something else that i could wear um i have enough shoes like basically I split the things between two bags so I like for the most part have things that I'm fine with I don't have any of my perfumes which is crazy I'm just walking around smelling like whatever lotion I have on which like I guess is fine um but yeah the room is beautiful the space is beautiful I feel like I'm not even mad that the weather is not that great because I think I'm only I'm here for five days Sunday night, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I'm here for five nights. I leave on Friday morning and what was I gonna say? Um, I have activities planned for two of those days. One is tomorrow. The second day is up in the air because it really depends on if I get my jackets because it's like gonna be cold and I really am gonna need my, tomorrow's not that cold so I don't, like I'll be fine tomorrow with what I have, but the days later, it's like I need warmer, warmer clothing. So there's that. And then um, for the other two days remaining, so Monday and Tuesday would be outdoor activities. And then Wednesday and Thursday, um, Wednesday it's raining. So I'm thinking I'm going to make that a spa day. And then Thursday, I might do like a small little horseback riding activity, but Honestly, the hotel is so nice that I would just rather like stay here and enjoy it. Like that's why I'm not, I'm, I think about it and I'm like, I'm not really that mad. And I will say Montenegro is a country that like most of the activities that you would want to do if you visited here are outdoors, which is probably why it's really important to either come with the proper attire or come at a time of year where it's nice to be outside. Um, so there's that but i'm not complaining at all i'm so 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 grateful like this is like a true vacation in the sense that like and I, the reason I'm, I'm picky on hotels now and the reason i'm picky on hotels is because i like like my apartment at home and i'm like if i'm gonna travel the place that i stay needs to at least be on that like I'm not going to try and cut corners to the point where I'm staying somewhere that's not as at least not as good as my home because I'm just like I could have stayed home like the place like why would I spend money to travel to not have a space that isn't as good as my home you know at least that's the, obviously that sounds very like stuck up or whatever but I just mean that to say like my home is a place that like I really like and so if I'm going to travel like I would want my hotel space to at least be as nice and i'm not saying you need to have the floor to ceiling windows i just mean like don't be a dingy hotel room like i'm not gonna don't be a dingy hotel room at any rate i'm gonna go to dinner soon and then when i come back from dinner i might take a bath i'm actually laying on top of um this like i forget what the word is called ledge porch i forget what the word is called um but it's like when there's a space right before the window, um, but under it is the bath and I might, you know, take a little bath tonight before going to bed, but yeah, we'll check in later. We should probably go to dinner now.
Znaš kako, sad je njoke došle delikates, a to je inače bila sirotinska hrana. Malo krompira se moglo svi nakraniti. To je to samo što je rekao. Njoki je sada veći famos za delikates, za luksuriju. Ali fakt je da je to bilo puno ljudi s milom. Kada imaš 10 ljudi na doma koji nije da je 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 it's very similar to how you would make a homemade bread. Yeah. Good afternoon, good evening friends. Oh, it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna pull up this hood. But I'm having a lovely picnic on the top of, uh -uh, I need this to turn to me, on the top of Mount Orion. And I'm just living, ooh, I'm just living my best life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I rode a quad bike up here. Oh, it's starting to rain a little. I might have to move. But life is beautiful. That's what I have to say. Life is beautiful. Sorry, you all up in my mouth while I'm eating. Um, we are having, or I am, there's no we, <laughs> are having a traditional. They went. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, they made me a salad and everything. Um. Everything that I'm eating a part of the salad is from their garden. So the beets, my mom would love this. Can't wait to talk about this. This was grown in their garden. Mm-hmm. Mm. Very good. The wine, homegrown or homemade. Yeah. Pepper, carrots, from the garden. I feel like I could be so healthy here. Also, I appreciate that she gave me a jacket. I came here woefully. Also, my curls have fully dropped. I came here woefully unprepared for the cold. Like, I fully should have brought my ski jacket, but I wanted to be cute. Cute babe, but. I'm really glad I did this experience. I'm like, really, really glad. Really glad. Also, the straighter is looking like a vibe. I brought my curling arm, but I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it straight until, until I go to London, honestly. It's not that deep. Ain't nobody here. Checking for me. I'm really not, I really love my life. All I can think of is the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And I'm just like the earth, there are people everywhere so good and I intend to experience the fullness of the earth I intend to experience it so thank you for joining me on this journey mm. I have to show you the full spread that's in front of me right now I feel crazy that this is, I'm sure they're gonna eat, like they're gonna save this and eat it, but 
I really got the full star studded Montenegrin food treatment. Like I'm eating an authentic meal. Culture, baby, culture. I'm so glad I did this. So, so glad. Hello, lovers and friends. I figure we could do a quick check-in. Um, it is technically my fourth night in Montenegro, but my third full day, which is kind of crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Something about being somewhere for three days sounds really long, especially considering the fact that I still have one more full day and a morning. Um, I think I'm done with my activities. I think the first two full days were my activities days. And I think now I'm just chilling slash enjoying the hotel. So today I had a spa day. Today was very chill. I slept in. I like woke up at nine, which is like crazy for me. But technically waking up at nine is waking up at like 3 a.m. New York time. So I think I'm just still a little jet lagged. Um, woke up at nine. Breakfast ends by 11. So I was like, cool, let me quickly shower. No, I didn't even shower because I knew after breakfast I was going to go to the gym. So, and I had showered and took a bath last night. So I was like, let me just go get some breakfast. Um, came back from breakfast at the, like, obviously the breakfast hotel came back from breakfast and took a nap because I was tired. So I basically ate and then went back to sleep and then woke up and went to the gym by the time I came back from the gym, it was time for my spa appointment. So I quickly showered and headed to the spa where I had a massage and like a detox massage and a hydra facial, which we love. I feel like the skin is doing a little glow something, a little glow something. Came back from my hydra facial and had like maybe an hour of downtime. So I just started looking at emails. I'm trying to handle the person that is impersonating me on TikTok. So I submitted a request for that or like a thing, a fo the form for that. And then I went to dinner. And then I went to dinner and dinner was, I had to take the little buggies, the buggy, whatever to get there. Cause it's like on the other side of the resort and it was the Japanese restaurant, the Japanese fusion restaurant. It was all right. It was all right. I, I'm not, I realize I'm not too big on fusion. Like give it to me straight, give it to me straight how it is. And it was definitely heavy on the fusion, like Japanese Peruvian fusion. But the thing that I liked the most was the cod and the miso cod. I love miso cod. I'm always going to get miso cod. However, the miso cod was like the last thing I had. So by that point I was like very full. I get very full. I get full very easily. So like by the time I had had edamame, some California roll and some like goza, I like to taste, I'm a taster. And tasting is difficult to do when you're by yourself. So by the time I had gotten to the miso cod, I had taken like two bites of the fish and like a bite or two of the rice and was like, I'm full. I brought it back for me though, to my room in case I, um, what's it called? <sighs> in case I get hungry again this evening, but Tomorrow is the last full day I have, and it's also going to be sunny. Like, it's not going to be warm, but it's going to be sunny. So it's like, if I wanted to do something, I could. But I don't know. I think I'm actually just going to take it as another chill day. And the reason I say that is because... What's it called? Um, I have a speech a keynote address that i'm giving on may the first and i need to like really really solidify that and i'm going to london on friday and i'm i know on friday i'm not going to be working on it saturday i think i'm going to be out and about in london and like kind of sort of same thing on sunday so and then i get back like two days before the speech so tomorrow is probably going to be a speech writing day for me for real for real so i think that's pretty much it for my time in Montenegro, which I don't mind. Honestly, this is a very good like vacation destination. When I was looking at all of the things that I could possibly do, 
Um, a lot of it is still just like visiting churches and monasteries and things like that. And I've seen enough. I've seen enough of that. Um, I think the only other thing that I would have wanted to do while I was here would have been to go to the north um, and do like a tour of the north. And that's like a full day tour. Like it's like 12 hours. Like you have to drive up there. It's really far. And then you get to see like the Dermador and the lake or the national park or whatever, whatever, things like that. Um, and first of all, the horseback riding wasn't even available yet, which is, was the main attraction for me. And second of all, if it's cold here, going to the north is going to be like way colder and I didn't bring a winter coat. So it's just, you know, we're just going to wind down. We're just going to wind down. I am getting to that part of like the solo trip where, um, I'm not lonely, but it's like, okay, we've been alone for a little bit of time. We've been alone for a little bit of time which I knew would happen. And I think I love, I love solo travel. I love, love solo travel, but I can't do it for too long. And I know that about myself. Like I can't do it for too long without at least making like new active friends, like actively making new friends or, um, switching the location or something, or at least having people around um, and like, usually it'll probably take around the three day mark for me to be like, okay, like I'm going home to an empty room again. And here's the thing, really what it is, is just a desire for companionship because I'm not really feeling like I desire friends on this trip. I'm feeling like I desire like the new best friend that doesn't exist yet. The person that will be my best friend. Um, which is fine. Honestly, like the thing about solo trips that I love or that I, I know at least my mom loves is it's usually the time that I speak to my family the most. It's usually the time that like you'll hear from me the most because like I'm not actively working, which is good. But yeah, I'm getting to that part of the trip where I'm like, okay, let's wrap this up, which is why which is why I decided to go to London on my way back. I was between London and Paris um, because I don't know if I mentioned this, but the reason I'm going to a second city is because there aren't, Delta doesn't fly daily out of Dubrovnik, Croatia, which is where I would be flying out of. Um, and so the day that I would want to leave, like they don't have any flights out and yeah, I could probably take another airline. Like I would take Turkish airlines or something like that. Like other airlines have flights, but that would be like throwing away money to an airline. That's not, it's not going to benefit me because I wouldn't get status. It wouldn't go towards miles, like anything like that. And I don't fly like Turkish airlines enough to justify, like it, it would just be a one type thing, one time thing. I can't remember where else I went that I had to like fly, not Delta. And it kind of annoyed me. Um, was it this year? No, I flew Delta to Aruba. I flew, I flew Delta to Jamaica. There was somewhere, or maybe it was just the number of speaking engagements that I've had where like, I didn't fly Delta. I've flown United twice this year. And so I'm just like, see, like that's, those are dollars. Those are, you know, whatever that is not going towards me getting status. So at any rate, I would much rather drop like a hundred dollars on a flight to another European country or city that will have Delta flights so that when I do drop the cash for a flight from Europe to the U S it would be on Delta and I would get that towards my status. So I was between London and Paris because those like pretty much have probably the most frequent Delta flights. Um, each day, like there are multiple flights going to New York from London and Paris each day. But I chose London, one, because I've never actually spent time in London. Um, I did a 12 hour layover there and like left and like got to see a friend and then went to Selfridges. But outside of that, I've never like done London and I don't really have a desire to do any of the touristy stuff, but I at least do have a desire to be in the city and say that I've been there and to just get accustomed to it. So at any rate, 
Um, I chose London because I've never been there and I've been to Paris. But then on top of that, Paris, I don't know anyone in that city. Um, I don't know anyone who lives there. And so if I went to Paris, it would feel like a continuation of a solo trip. And so I quite literally would have like, it would be like a full week and a day that I would be spending solo between Montenegro and Paris had I done Paris versus going to London for me is not like, I'll be in my hotel room by myself, but like, I've already hit up so many people that I'm just like, Hey, like I'm in town. Like, da, 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 da. So like, even though it technically will be solo, like I'm not going to be by myself for a majority of the time. Um, and so for that reason, I was like, let me choose London because I know by the time I hit day five on this Euro trip, I'm going to start feeling just a tad bit lonely, just a tad bit homesick. That's really what it is. It's not like lonely, like, oh my God, like I'm all alone. It's more so like, uh, like I'd rather be alone at home than alone abroad at this stage in the journey. Oh, this this detox massage I got today did something. But at any rate, yeah, I think I'm going to call my mom. I think tomorrow is just going to be a chill day. I might go to the spa pool just to see what that's like. But honestly, I think I'm satisfied with my two days of activities. Yeah. I don't believe that all good things must come to an end. But this good thing must. It's time for us to leave. Um... I, my car to the airport is arriving at 1045 and it is now 1030. So I'm going to call for them to help me with my bags and then do probably the checkout thing. Um, my hair, my hair, it is, it is now time. My hair was looking cute for a while, but it is now time for my hair to, <laughs> to get a little retouch, which I'll do when I get to London because I'm going to London next. Um, my flight leaves at 1.50 p.m. Um, and it takes like 45 minutes, maybe an hour, depending on what it's like at the border to get from the hotel in Montenegro to Dubrovnik, the Dubrovnik airport, which is in Croatia. So yeah, I'll have, I'll get to the airport two hours before my flight, go through whatever and just be set to head to London, London, London. I'm excited. I'm excited to be around people again. Um, this resort was absolutely everything. Like I personally would come back like every year, or the, every other year if I could. I'm honestly considering coming back in September because I do want to experience this place when it's warm. Like I want to do the warm boat rides and I want to do the warm, you know, beach. They have a private beach that I did not step foot on. Like I just want to do like warm weather stuff. So We'll see, we'll see, but I would come back here solo. I would come back here with a spouse. I would come back here with a spouse and children. Like, I think this is all around just such a great vibe. I honestly would even come back here with girlfriends. Like, this is also such a great, like, girls trip type of place. If you decide to, like, get a villa or split a villa, like, it's just beautiful all around and everybody should experience, like, what I experienced here because it's, so gorgeous but yeah let me call them to help me with my bags um hopefully getting into london is smooth it's a cloudy day here it's cloudy in london no surprise and yeah but let's let's get on our way um, beef is good at my that's it uh beef will take about five to ten minutes okay okay that's fine just a little something welcome to london hello <laughs> We gotta show them what we're eating. Yeah. Well, this is about to. It's a good thing I have my my lip gloss to apply. Mm -hmm. Oh, they would turn on the Afro beats right as we're about to eat. They know. Yeah. They know we're in the building. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, we're having Korean hot dogs yes. or corn dogs, sorry. And he's having the potato, potato mozzarella. I'm also having the beef one. So we're gonna try this one. So we're gonna try. Alright, I'm going in. I'm going to try it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
sauce is very good. Ten out of ten. Mm -hmm. bruh, 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 bruh. I love it so much. Mm. It's so yummy. Mm. And then the, the spice as well does yeah, it's so good. It's like ten over ten. This line is so long, always. Mm -hmm. That food is so good. This is so good. Mm. Mm. I, mean, I don't need close enough to the station. Mm -hmm. I will be in trouble. Yeah, what part of the city do you like? It's just fascinating. How do Thank you. I can't believe we actually found it. I have been, I have been the absolute worst <laughs> um, at what's it called? At getting content at vlogging this whole entire trip which honestly I'm not even mad at because it usually means that I have been really really enjoying but also travel vlogs when I'm in big cities are tough because especially solo I feel like if you while well, you can't see me tip my bad no that's not what I want I want you to see me yeah I feel like if you, especially if you're by yourself, like vlogging by yourself in a new city, like can very much so make you a target of like theft, pickpocketing, or just like, it just gives very much so tourists. And so instead of like being out and about like, hey guys, like look at me in this city, like blah, blah, blah. I just thought it would be a lot better to um, just be in the city. If I were solo in a, you guys saw, I like pretty much vlogged. Um, what did I vlog? Aruba when I went and I vlogged a little bit of Jamaica. Like when there are not too many people around, it makes a lot more sense than when there are because otherwise, I don't know. They've, they've been saying that people have been snatching phones out here in London. So I was not trying to have that happen. My um, camera is doing something very weird. One moment. Let me, I'm trying to actually pack right now. Unfortunately, this is like sad. When I was leaving Montenegro, I was like, I'm ready to go. Like, uh, nobody wants to leave paradise, but like, you know, got a, got a blast. But I don't know. There's something like, I'm kind of actually sad to leave London right now. I don't know. I don't know. It could be because I was doing a little boo loving. Huh. This Maison Crivelli fragrance does not smell as bad hours later. Um... It could be because, I mean, that's just what it is with solo, with not solo trips. This wasn't, this was a solo trip, but like, I really wasn't solo, solo this whole time. Like last night I got dinner with my friends from college, my college roommates. During the day yesterday, I met up with a TikTok mutual, Shay. Um, Friday night, I went on a date. Today I was kind of solo more than any other day, but like, I really just went shopping at Harrods. Um, the bags are behind me telling on me. Um, I did some shopping. I did some shopping at Harrods and I generally like to shop on my own. Oh my gosh. I have to actually tell you about, um, the guy, there was a guy at Harrods who like in the fragrance department, he was, he was in the fragrance department and like, I couldn't tell that he was flirting with me until it was clear that he was flirting with me. But that was a funny experience. I'll just retell the story. It's actually not that deep, but I mean, since we're on YouTube and since we're recapping the day. So I had done my whole um, 
Harrods, whatever, bought all that I wanted to buy and was like basically heading out and like to head out, I was going through the first floor, which of course in pretty much most department stores is where the fragrances are. And I wanted, I didn't buy any fragrances and I actually went to Harrods thinking I was going to get fragrances, but honestly, most of the fragrances that were there were fragrances that I was already familiar with slash could get in the US, so it wasn't special. And then the ones that were Herod's exclusive. So I was like, I wanna I wanna get something that I can't get like in the US. I want something exclusive. I want something spicy, you know? Not literally, but I wanted something exclusive. All of the Herod's exclusives, none of them appealed to me. Most of them were oud fragrances. Like most of the Herod's exclusives were, were ouds for each um each fragrance house and I don't l dislike oud, but I don't like it enough to have more than like three ouds in my collection. And I have like three. I have oud Isfahan, I have oud Satin Mood, and I have one more. I think I have, no, I, I, I gave away Shagaf oud. But I don't need that many ouds to like now get a Harrods exclusive that's an oud. Like, you know, so I didn't get any fragrances. And so I, when I was leaving, I was like, I want to go and see if there are any more fragrances. I don't know why this is not tracking me. Track me, baby. Track me. If there are any more fragrances that like I would be interested in getting. And I walked by the Dior thing, which honestly, there are not that many Dior fragrances on my list now. Like... Yeah, yeah. I think I've, I think I have the Dior fragrances that I like, which would be Oud Isfahan. Like, I think they're fine, but they don't like, you know, cry out to me. So, but I was just, I kind of just like walked a little slower, not on purpose. And the guy behind the counter was like, would you like, to, and I, I wasn't even right in front of it. I was nearby, but he was like, would you like to try some fragrance? And I was just like, okay, sure. Um, and he he was like, I'm going to choose one for you. He was like, what do you like? And I was like, ah, I like a little bit of everything, which is true. Like I could go for really floral. I love rose, but I can mess with tuberose on a particular day. Love white florals, love rose. Um, I love gourmands. I love vanilla. Um, I love, yeah, I love, I, I can do cherry. I can do citrus fragrances, like pretty much everything except like animalistic fragrances. Um, I can do leather is not one of my favorite fragrance notes. So when a perfume has leather, it usually turns me off a little bit, but for the most part, like I'm pretty open. So he was like, I'll choose one for you. Um, and then he chose tobacco color, which honestly kind of reminded me of Tobacco Honey by Guerlain. So it had that kind of like syrupy, but like a little bit of tobacco, but more so a sweet syrupy fragrance. And I was like, oh, that's actually good. And he was like, see, I was right. He chose a couple of other fragrances. And then we just like obviously got to talking because my accent was from, um, not from whatever. So, oh no, I missed it. I missed the part where he recommends a second fragrance and he's like, it's sweet, like it's sweeter, but it's not as sweet as you. And I was just like, oh, I didn't realize we're flirting on the clock. I didn't realize that's what we're doing now. We got to talking. He's a guy um, who has Greek heritage. So he's like half Greek, half, we didn't talk about the other half, but he was asking me, you know, if I had gone anywhere else or was going anywhere after London. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to, I had just come from Montenegro. <sighs> He asked me, wow, see, I'm tired. He asked me if I had been to Greece. I was like, no, but I might be going this summer. So we talked a little bit about that. He said that he had just gotten back from Mexico. He went to Tulum, but he's never been to the US before. I was like, oh, cool, like whatever, whatever. And then at the end of the day, and then we like, you know, finished talking and I could kind of sense that he was like a little flirty. He was a handsome guy, like handsome guy. Um, And he was like, do you mind if like, can I ask for your Instagram or whatever? And I was just like, sure. And I give people my real Instagram. So I'm usually prepared for the moment when they're like, oh, like, 
oh. <laughs> um, and so I asked for his Instagram too, because normally when people follow me on Instagram, it's really hard for me to see individual followers because now Instagram will lump it all together. Um, and so, yeah, we follow each other. I don't really, you know, I just, I was doing it to be nice. There was nothing wrong with him at all. He was a handsome man and whatever. Um, what would I say? Yeah, I honestly would hit him up for recommendations in Greece. That was what I was thinking about too. Um, would I date him seriously? No, probably not. But, you know, it was a nice little like, oh, like, you know, I'm in London by myself moment, whatever. So, yeah, that was that. I don't even remember what the purpose of the story was. Oh, to mention that I didn't buy fragrance and, yeah, fragrance shopping didn't really happen, but I did buy other things. Should we talk about the other things that I bought? Should we do that? Because I, pl- I took this vlogging camera to Harrods, but did not take it out to vlog because Harrods just seems like such a, like, prim and proper, prim and proper, posh type of place that I was like, I want to be the, the, the uncouth person, the, the uncultured person that's like, look guys, I'm shopping in Harrods, like come with me. But I should probably show you some of the things I bought. Mainly they got me with this one. They re- I'm not going to lie. I didn't, I didn't intend on getting this, but they got me with this one. Um, and I really didn't need to do too much shopping in, in the UK because the UK, like you don't actually get anything special. There's no like in the way that people go to Paris to get cheaper stuff. Like, it's not really cheaper. Obviously, the pounds are, like, how do I say this? In Paris, it'll be not only cheaper, it'll be cheaper, but then also the euro is not that much stronger than the dollar. Um, So it'll be, like, cheaper. And then on top of that, you get the VAT refund or you get duty-free if you're in the airport. In the UK... They've stopped VAT, so you no longer get that discount anymore. And then on top of that, the pound is mad strong. The pound is so strong that, like, it'll be slightly cheaper, but then when you translate... It'll be slightly cheaper on the on the number, right? But then when you translate it to US dollars, it's the same exact, if not more. Um, and so you're just like, whoa. So I really wasn't trying to buy that much, but I did end up buying that much. And the reason I bought that much is because, and the reason I bought more than I anticipated, not more, it wasn't more than I anticipated. I actually went in with a fully open mind, ready to spend. But the reason, the reason that I got as much as I got is because it was things that are not available or things that I either might need this upcoming week or things that were not available and would not be available once I left the UK. Um, so like particular designers or particular things or particular exclusives, which supposedly this bag is, but I don't know. I don't know. I tried to look it up. I tried to Google like whether it's, apparently it's a Harrods exclusive, but also it was the only one in this color in Harrods. So therefore it was the only one in like all of London. Um, because I'm pretty sure there's only one Harrods in London. So that was what that was. I don't really know if it's exclusive or what, but I just know I don't have a bag in the color and I got it and now I'm content and I'm going to definitely get use out of it. So, but I'm actually going to take a break and just pack a little bit more um, because it's getting late and I have my flight early tomorrow morning. So I'll pack a little bit more and then maybe check back in before we go to bed tonight. But I gotta make a personal because if I don't, you're gonna start hating me. Oh, my hair is looking like some money. But yeah, it's five in the morning, 5.30. My Uber's here. So let's say goodbye to London, to Europe, to let's go anywhere for this installation until the end of next month. I look tired like nobody's business, but we have made it to the lounge and um, I'm really sad. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. I'll be happy to be home though, but dang. It's kind of crazy how much I enjoyed London, so. We'll definitely be back. We'll definitely be back. Montenegro too, but that was a different vibe, but. Yeah. Cheerio. Cheers. All the good stuff. Thank you for watching this vlog and I hope to see you guys next time.